Hi everyone, this is Joe from the Air Phantom and today I'm going to do a follow-up video to a video that I did uh, over a year ago on how to create your own uh, UPC uh, barcode. Now I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do um, multiple barcodes in a, in a single page, especially if you have um, like, a, like a database of barcodes and products and 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 things like that and you want them to be displayed in a single page um, so um, let's get started with that uh, first um, oh now that I open this uh, this is something I've been working on it's it's called JuiceLib um, um, it's a, a small library for PHP that ha has some um, functions that allow you to uh, write less code and, and, and do more stuff like for example in the in the in that sample code in the demo code um, you have um, all of this it, especially it allows you to handle post requests and get requests but anyways let's let's give that for for another time uh, where I'm gonna explain that to you um, by the way, if you want, well, guys want to follow, it's uh, hosted on GitHub, github.com for slash juicelib. And I'm going to also put this link on the video description and um, on the, um, uh, a link to the juicelib channel on the video description as well. So let's get started with this. Um, as you can see here, this is the previous video that I uploaded uh, over a year ago. And uh, it shows you how to generate a barcode. Now, uh, so you can see on the on the URL here. If you go to that URL, uh, go to thephantom.com for slash open barcode. So when you go there, you're gonna find out that you're getting redirected to this GitHub repository, and um, basically that's the UPC barcode repository. So you just need to download it, download zip file. And let's see. Still downloading. I guess it kind of froze. Let's see. Come on. There you go. Let's open it up. And um, it's right here. And um, let's get it so there we have it uh, the download and uh, now this is the part where, I, where I'm going to show you how to do it and that's the root for the tutorial on my local server so let's drop it there and uh, let's test it out now let's go to Digital Phantom. That's my local host tutorials, and there you go. You get that uh, barcode that I, I showed how to create. Now, let's get started with this. This is the root, and now let's go to the index and modify the index. The way I'm not going uh, gonna go into details and. Uh, on how to create the barcode because I already did that so in this video it's just showing you how to include multiple barcodes in a single page and you can even change the label for all of those different barcodes so this is the the index that I just downloaded that's what's been generating this barcode now let's see oh if get multiple then we're gonna have three barcodes hopefully so let's pass that get parameter multiple equals true and of course we got three barcodes and as you can see the code there that's generating the three barcodes with the three different uh, numbers now let's modify this and uh, first let me show you a database that I have on the, on the local server and I just created this uh, database for um, uh, this table in the database for this tutorial so as you can see I have a table here it has three uh, columns one ID barcode and a description 
this is an integer this is a uh, text and this is also text or to be more exact it's a bar chart uh, this has a 12 uh, limit and this has a 255 limit I believe so that's just for demonstration purposes and I have nine records and um, let's get started with that so this is all good great let's remove that and well not let's not remove that just just remove this and this great and let's remove this end all right so let's connect to the database so it's a MySQL database I'm gonna use the MySQL I uh, wrapper uh, new MySQL I now the first parameter host host uh, second is the username root uh, I'm not gonna show you my password because he has no password <laughs> it's uh, well, you shouldn't do this but since this is logo and has no outside access to it and I don't have any sensitive information here I don't need to put a password on it but you should put your password on your live server absolutely and put a complex password if you can so let's see this uh, we are in the table tutorials so you can see I mean the database tutorials and table barcodes inventory great so let's prepare a statement uh, stm equals let's go i prepare select so we're going to select the barcode which has the, the actual barcode number and uh, we're going to select the description from that table barcode inventory that's what it was named right let's check that out yeah right so now let's do stm execute good so that's going to execute that statement and now let's store the result in a variable stm get result now in order to show those let's let's uh go down here and let's make sure we don't have any errors we're actually here so let's refresh sure we don't get any errors and surely we don't get any errors so let's check it out let's start uh, well let's um, show those results in a table right makes more sense put them in a table so mix HTML here with PHP table border equals one I'm just putting some cosmetics here so spacing equals zero it's not too serious and cell padding equals say, 10 pixels and let's close the table tag uh, let's put a T head. Let's uh, duplicate this, close it. Let's duplicate that. Let's put a TR. I'm not going to explain how I'm doing this because this is not related to the tutorial, it's just for cosmetic purposes. And so I'm going to do it pretty fast, as fast as I can do it. And then there we go. Here we're going to have a barcode on the left. And we're gonna have the description on the right, All right? So as so we define the T head, we're gonna find a T body, T body, and uh, that's 
that's it for that. Now let's open PHP here and close it. This is where we're going to have the loop that is going to loop the database and it's going to retrieve the results. So let's get it. Um, we're going to have a while loop here. And then we're going to put the row equals result fetch sub. So we're going to fetch an associative array for each row. And that row, that associative array is going to contain the barcode index and the description index, which of course they, they store the barcode and the description respectively. So let's get started. Remember that UPC object that we created on top, up here, UPC equals new UPC, no four. Great. Now UPC, we're going to set the label to that uh, product description. That's going to be row and then description. There you go. Now we're going to make some HTML PHP here again. Now, tr. Uh, set, let me explain this. I'm just going to explain when I get it to it. Also in this one. I'm using the PHP shorthand tags shorthand tags for those of you who don't know about it well, it's not recommended to use it but um, we're gonna use it because it works bro actually I'm still missing some stuff there because I'm gonna put the barcode first so image src equals that and then this is gonna be um, UPC. Oops. We're gonna have the UPC um, object there, calling the embed method, and the embed method basically takes the UPC barcode number. Barcode that should be fine, and then again we're gonna use here the shorthand. PHP tags, row, description, save this and let's see what we get. Great. So as you can see here, we got the barcodes on the left and they're different barcodes. And let's double check. So this is uh, the number of the last barcode. Uh, 3, 26, 56, 55, 65, 89, 2. And that's uh, this one here. Let's see it. Let's see, make sure it matches. So, 326, 565, 565 again, and 892. Great. So, so you can see those numbers are being generated and the last product is beans so let's add a new product in the database so you can see how it works and uh, let's see hopefully you can use this on your projects I've been getting a lot of requests recently um, about this and I'm glad you guys like this tutorial and uh, are engaging in the community. So let's see how many digits I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's good. You have 12 digits, but the last digit is a check digit, so it's generated based on the previous 11 digits. So this one is going to be digital phantom key keychain. Great. So the other phantom house has a keychain and it has a barcode. That's the barcode. So let's refresh this and we should get uh, that after beans. 
digital phantom keychain there you go and as you can see each barcode has a custom label and in, if you want you can just don't change the label just put the company name or whatever and just keep the label static but I'm showing you the option to change the label to something custom for each barcode and um, again um, I guess um, that's it for the tutorial again the barcode the URL for the barcode is github.com forward slash flums f o m s f l o m s dot com for slash open dash barcode and uh, otherwise just go to dphantom dot com d p h a n t o n o m dot com for slash open dash barcode and um, I guess uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'm gonna be doing another tutorial soon on that uh, library that I mentioned, JuiceLib, that, that I'm working on. So you guys get an update. Um, and by the way, on that uh, library, there is also a, 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 a method for creating barcodes, which uh, I included there. So, well, guys um, and girls, um, that's it for this tutorial. And I hope you guys had a great time on this tutorial and you learned something. And um, see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, rate the videos, comment on them, enjoy, engage in the community, and see you all next time.